Hey guys, welcome back to our Nature 101 series about creeks and streams. I'm Colin from Camp Town, and we are actually talking about invertebrates today. So an invertebrate is an animal that does not have a spine or a backbone. Now these invertebrates, just like other animals and mammals around us, around us start out small and actually will grow a little bigger. Most of our invertebrates are insects. In fact, some of them we have swimming right over here. They're small enough that you can only see with your eye. You wouldn't be able to see it on a phone or a camera. Now, our invertebrates actually have three different types. There are the larvae, which are immature, active insects. We have the nymphs, which are the almost like teens of insects. And then our last one is the maggots, which are legless larvae, all of which can move by either wiggling around or rolling on their stomach. Now, even though we have those three, we have other kinds as well. Some of which are like in my hand, which is a mussel or a clam. I'll let you see that. Now these are also those because they don't have a backbone. Some other ones that we can find are crawfish or shellfish. The crawfish around us always swim backwards so they can see what's trying to attack them. Now, when we're out looking at these insects, we want to look for what we call aquatic macro invertebrates. Now let's break that word down. Aquatic means water, as you can see the streams beside us. Macro means anything that you can see with your naked eye. And invertebrates are any animal or insect without a backbone. So what I want you guys to do is to go out and look for some invertebrates at your local parks or state parks or neighborhood streams and try and see if you can find one or two of them. And then I want you to answer a couple of the questions that are listed below in our activity sheet. One of those questions is how does pollution affect our invertebrates? So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good rest of the day.